Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a nice day or night, whatever you guys are up to. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a really, really smoky rose gold glam. I just feel like I haven't done something really full and dark and glam in a while. So yeah, and I'm normally not really into rose gold tones, but I was having a play with uh, one of my Morphe palettes today. And there's some really beautiful rose gold shades. So that's what I'm going to go for today. Apologies. I know I do look ridiculous because I have no fake tan on my face and really dark tan on my body, but we'll all fix that up when it comes to foundation. So if you guys want to see how to create this rose gold smoky glam, then keep on watching. Now I just quickly went in with my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer just to lay a base down for my eyeshadow. And for my eyeshadow today we're going to be taking the Morphe 350 palette which looks like this. For my transition shades I'm going to be going in with these two right here. I'm starting off today just by mixing those two transition shades together and I'm just going to lay these through my socket. And then to deepen my crease ever so slightly, I'm just taking this softer brown here. We're just going to lay this through the socket as well. We're going to start creating some depth. And then moving on to more of the rose gold tones, I'm taking this colour right here. Next, we're taking this beautiful, beautiful mahogany brown shade. Just going to lay this just through the outer corner and a little bit through the socket. Now, I know it looks crazy messy, which I kind of love, but don't worry, we'll clean it up at the end. And then finally, for some depth, we're taking this gorgeous, gorgeous dark brown shade here. And we're just going to lay this just on the outer corner and through the lower lash line. And then the star of the show today is this beautiful, beautiful rose gold shade here. Now picking up that beautiful rose gold colour on my MAC 239. Now I've just gone in and picked up a little bit more, but I've spritzed my brush with some rose water spray. You guys see how much more pigmented that is? And now with my fluffy brush, just gonna soften those edges. Okay guys, so as you can see, I went in and cleaned up underneath the eye and I went in and did a wing liner. And for that, I used my trusty NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. Okay, so I'm happy with the eyeshadow, but I do just wanna add a little bit of darkness throughout the outer corners just to make it really nice and smoky. So just on an angle brush, I've just picked up Corrupt by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to place this just in the outer corner, like so. And then just on my MAC 217, just going to really, really carefully just buff that through the outer corner. And I'm also just going to soften that blend with my big fluffy brush. I'm just going to keep repeating this step just until I'm happy with the depth. And remember, working with black shadow can be very tricky so just a little bit at a time so I'm happy with that depth okay guys so now that I've got the depth through my outer corner I just went in and just on my mobile lid over the top of that rose gold color I pressed a little bit of a soft glitter over the top for that I just went in with my number 48 body sparkles by Inglot so I've just picked up a tiny little bit of this product just on my 239 by Mac I'm just going to Softly press this just over the lid. So as you guys can see, it's just a nice soft wash of a gold sparkle just to add to the rose gold glam. So now that my eyes are done, I'm going to move on to the skin. Finally, I look so ridiculous compared to my body. All right, just quickly to prep the skin, Mario Badescu, green tea, cucumber, and aloe spray. Oh, heaven. Okay, I've just grabbed the first primer that I have to hand, which is my Illamasqua Matte Veil. 
and just popping this all over the skin. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and thrown in a super sexy headband and for foundation today, I'm feeling my Too Faced Born This Way in Caramel. And on my Morphe M492, as always, I'm just gonna paint this all over the skin. And we are one color, thank you. Okay, and so now moving on to cream contour. Now this is obviously something I always do in all my videos. I could not live without cream contour. But generally in my videos, I do skip over it. But I just want to show you guys what I actually use. Because what I use is always in my description box, like all of the rest of the products that I always use. But today I actually thought I'd physically show you. So this is my Napoleon Purtis Foundation Stick in 6B. So as you guys can see, it's nice and rich and dark. So what I do is I just decanter a little bit of it on the back of my brush. Pop that onto the back of my hand and then I always have a little bit of leftover foundation do you like my ridiculously pale hands so I mix that together like so so now that I have the cream contour mixed on the back of my hand I then take this product so this is my LA girl pro conceal there is still a little bit of product left but all I do is use this for application so as you guys can see it comes with a little brush and I just love it for application so all I do is I just pick some up and then go ahead and cream contour and then, as always, just buffing it out with my Beauty Blender. And I just like to go really slowly and press really softly just over that product until it completely blends away. And that's the key for me when blending out a cream contour. Just gentle and slow. I feel like I make this joke every tutorial, but what if I just didn't blend my lip contour out and I just left it like this? Like I actually would. <laughs> and for concealer today, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Tape Shape Concealers. The slightly deeper one, which is the one that I'm going to start off with, is Light Medium Honey. And of course, buffing this out with my Beauty Blender. No, this is my favorite bit, blending out my under eyes. And now to set the face, starting with the under eyes, just taking a tiny little bit of powder on my Beauty Blender and just softly pushing that underneath my eye and then bringing that down over the apple of my cheek. I always like to be pretty heavy handed with the powder over the apple of my cheek. It's a really great way of disguising large pores, which I have. <laughs> okay, a little bit on my chin. I definitely get oily. Upper lip and definitely the center of my forehead. And then I'm not picking up any more powder on my Beauty Blender, just with whatever's left. I'm just gonna run that over the rest of the face. Okay, and now just a touch of bronzer. I mean, I'm super tan, I definitely don't need much. Just running a little bit over the cheek, a little bit under the chin, and underneath the jaw. And I also just like to take my brush and drag it over my nose. It's a great way of really reinforcing your nose contour. And quickly get a powder contour with my hula. Okay, and now for me personally, I always like to finish off my skin. So like my blusher and my highlighter and my glow and everything until the very end. But I may as well do it now. So for blush, I'm taking my e.l.f. Twinkle Pink Blush. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's just a beautiful soft color. Even though it says pink, to me it's not that pink. It's more like an apricot-y kind of color. Just on my blush brush, I'm just gonna hit this over the top of where we contoured. Now, if you're not a blusher fan like me, I think you guys will really love this blush because it is very subtle. And it also has some beautiful like gold sparkle through. So it'll give you a soft flush of color, but it'll also give you a nice glow to the skin. Actually, you know what? I do have my e.l.f. blush palette here. And I might even just go in with a touch of this kind of orangey apricot -y tone. There you go. That's just given us a little bit more color on the cheeks. They're very, very pigmented though. So just be careful. And so to highlight today, I'm going to take a mixture. I'm going to start off with my favorite highlighter at the moment. This is my Giella I Am Glam highlighter. Just hitting that just on the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, so now that we've laid that highlighter down, did anyone guess it? Yeah, we're going in with glitter. So the same Inglot glitter that we placed over the eyelids. Just gonna pick up a little bit. Mm. 
just lay that over the top. Okay, so I quickly just went ahead and threw some brows on. For that, I used my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and then my Inglot Eyeshadow in 357 just to set that down. So just on a flat brush, I'm just starting off by taking a mixture of the soft browns we use as our initial transition shades. And now basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a mixture of all the colours that we used and just drag them underneath as well. I love using warm red tones underneath the eyes. It really brings out the green in my hazel eyes. And we are going to go super dark and smoky underneath the eyes. Okay, so taking some of my Napoleon Purtis Black Gel Eyeliner to apply, I'm going to be using a nice fine line brush. And then to smudge out, I'm just taking that same flat brush that we used to apply the underneath eyeshadow. So just starting off with the fine liner brush, I'm just going to run a line of this just in my waterline. Now the fun part, again, I'm just going to drag this just really, really messily along the lower lash line. And then going in directly afterwards with my flat brush, and we're just going to buff that eyeliner out. Now because we are working with gel, you want to work fairly quickly, because gel liners do tend to set quite fast. And I've actually just picked up a little bit of the black gel liner on my brush. And that's just going to aid us in getting that really beautiful smoky effect. And then on my fluffy brush, just taking a mixture of those browns, which is going to buff that underneath the eye also. All right, that is one messy smoky eye done. I'm just going to take the same highlighter that we used to highlight the skin. And just pop that in the inner corners. And you know what, just over the top, I'm just going to take this beautiful eyeshadow by Inglot in number 11. It's just kind of like a champagne gold. Just pop that on the inner corners. Okay guys, so that is my lashes on. And now moving on to lips, I'm going to start by outlining my lips with my Plum Roll by Napoleon Pettis. that just creates some nice depth. And then for lips today, I actually just went and had a troll in my makeup kit and found a very beloved and <laughs> very little uh, strip down by MAC. So I'm gonna fill in the whole lip with this. Brown and beige tone nudes are always my favorites. I'm not a pinky nude person personally. That is stunning. Now I'm going to take a tiny little bit of my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in Cairo, a super pale colour, and I'm just going to put this in the centre. I always like just to add something light just in the centre of my lips. So I think that's my makeup done, guys. That is my Rose Gold Smoky Glam done. I definitely feel smoky. I definitely feel glam, so I'm happy. But you know, this makeup I think will be perfect for a night out or an event or to go to the supermarket, which is exactly what I'm about to do. Legit though, <laughs> um, story of my life. But no, as always, I really hope you guys liked this video. I hope you liked the makeup. Please let me know what you think um, in the comments down below. As always, I would love if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.